All right, a couple highlights from Friday's trading at GreatStockPicks.com. Um, you know what? With the SPY having this little this little green dot, doesn't even look like a candle. That's how narrow the range was on uh, on Friday. I'm kind of proud to have been in uh, DRI and uh, in this nice move here and YELP. You know, a couple really nice moves. So we did a pretty good job Friday at kind of finding the gems in a sideways market. Um, and I really wanted to make this video to talk about DRI mostly. And um, it's kind of a breakdown of the anatomy of sometimes how I find a trade. I didn't really have, I didn't have DRI on watch at all on my overnight list going into Friday. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about um, how we find some of our trades and, uh, and I can use DRI as an example, okay? Um, in the first 10 or 15 minutes, really mostly the first five minutes of every session, I'm not looking to take a trade. That's a very dangerous time to enter. Nobody knows how bad things are gonna whip around in the first five minutes. So um, I often balk it at, at when I see a member uh, take an entry in something 30 seconds in, because to me, it's just like throwing darts, you're just guessing. But um, DRI, uh, I did find it in the first couple minutes. Now what I do in the morning, in the first five minutes as the market's unfolding after the open here, um, what I do is I'm not uh, I'm not typing into the chat room or anything. I have what we call an unusual volume stocks tab in our chat room, and I spend the first five minutes high, uh, oh, populating that if you will, with stocks that are interesting to me and might make for good trades later in the day. All right, and so uh, with that in mind, that's how I found DRI, and I'll show you. Here is what uh, DRI looked like uh, using five minute candles. This is the opening candle right here. And I mean, this volume right here, that's the opening volume candle. Um, it doesn't look huge because of the big volume uh, in the last five minutes on, on Thursday, but uh, this did absolutely uh, light up my unusual volume scanner. And that's how I found it, okay? Um, and it, because this, this opening uh, 80,000 shares in the first five minutes is unusual volume for DRI. And so it's kind of handy to have a scanner that, that finds you know high relative volume for any given stock. Um, couple that with the fact that I know or I knew DRI um, was very beaten up on the daily. So this early volume right there puts this, uh, and it's the first thing I typed into chat, um, into the main chat room. I typed in, uh, hey, everybody, DRI is interesting. That one's going on a chart. You know, put this one on a chart. I didn't want to chase it up here five minutes in because it had already made a big move. That's a, um, what, a 60, 70 cent move, something like that um, in five minutes. So anyway, here's what happened. It grinds uh, around, and I'm not just going to dive in and guess, okay? But now it's coming down here into an interesting area. Um, typically, on a strong stock or even a stock that's going to be strong that day, um, you always get that first pullback. And so this is where it became interesting to me, and it bounced around a little bit. And then when it looked like this, um, you know, you had a nice bounce in what we call the buy zone down here at the eight period moving average five minute candles, or I should say the zone between the eight and the 20, oftentimes on a strong stock. And remember, DRI met, the, met our, hey, let's watch this one early because of these early uh, volume and price candles, okay? So it was already on our radar. Um, so this is a great prospect, if you will. All right, so then you get the bounce. I didn't, I didn't want to take it yet. I wanted more information from the market, and we had uh, a couple big uh, financial numbers coming out at 10 o'clock. So I didn't want to take it right here. This was pretty much right at the 10 o'clock hour. If you take it and you, it starts to bounce, and then the numbers uh, become where everybody deems them, hey, those are pretty ugly, you're going to roll over and you're going to get a stop out. So I kind of wanted more information and I wanted the market to settle down after the 10 o'clock number. So we get our bounce. Um, you get what looks like a reversal here. And then I see it's starting to hold. It's really riding the eight period moving average nicely. I went ahead and called this long at 45.45 with just a dime stop. Um, doesn't get much better than that as far as risk reward on a $45 stock. So there's the entry and the stop went right below that base. Dime risk. Here's what happened takes out the high of the day and literally look at if you look at the 520 five minute count 20 period moving average never touched it all day that's a strong stock and we were riding this up most of the day um, had a few members get more than a dollar a share out of that um, and I did pretty well on it myself um, but anyway in, in short that's uh, that's kind of an, the anatomy of how I find an early prospect um, in addition of course I always have an overnight list you know and a matter of fact Yelp our other nice one from uh, Friday was on my overnight list because it, it looked like this. Um, you had this long base here. It's kind of long, tight range, right? And um, a nice volume pop on uh, on Wednesday and then kind of an inside day on Thursday. So had this one on watch 
and uh, my long entry on Yelp was 20.49, and you can see it went uh, up over a dollar. I uh, went to a dollar 13 a share from that entry as well. The risk was only 17 cents below, um, and that never got hit either. So we had a couple stocks uh, with less than one had a dime risk, one had 17 cent risk that uh, that went up over a dollar, both of them, and uh, and never stopped out. Um, but the point of the video really was uh, DRI is an example of how we can find stocks to trade in the morning that uh, weren't even on our overnight list just by doing an early volume scan, then looking at the daily chart, then waiting for the pullback and looking for an intelligent entry. So have a great rest of your weekend, guys, and we'll see you on Monday.